Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to render dynamic data in the PO side and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use RPC in a different ways using the routes or using the models wise. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see different types of playlist available for this Odoo development. And here you can see different type of playlist available with the different topic wise with the weird task cases. And in case you want to learn more about point of cell development, you can use this playlist. And this is version 16 with the old framework. Alright, so let's back to our main topic. Let's say in the previous session, let me try to duplicate the, this tape and let me start the new session. Let me inspect the open this console. Let me clear all these logs. And uh, last time we saw like how to call the RPC using the route or the models feature, right? So once I click here, you can see the backend side. We are trying to get the active languages, the current languages in this current database, right? So currently three active languages available, right? Arabic, English, and the Hindi language. Now let's say here, for example, let's say I will try to render one, uh, one of the dynamic data using like this way. We are trying to create our custom data, not this is the static one, but we are trying to use the dynamic data here to render in this pop-up screen, okay? So here, so for that, like we have to go to in this PS session the module right and last time you saw like we use this rpc call right so let me comment this part and here i will try to use like let's say the active languages right so for that you can go to the settings translation and the languages and you can see the three different active languages available right we are trying to get this one and the you can see here the model name is the res.lang now we are trying to do the same stuff but using the route okay so let's say uh, multi lang equal to await and this dot rpc and guys if you already know about the last session we created a new controller right this controller so we are trying to use this controller And the params like we will pass is a blank. Okay, not like this, but in the dictionary format. And here, uh, first let's print the records, like let's say the language. Let's say multi lang. And I will try to restart the service. In case you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm, please check editor level playlist, I already explained everything. And here I will try to refresh the screen, also let me open the console, let me remove the logs, and here you can see three different logs available, right? Now we are trying to render the pop-up screen right in a last discussion about the pop-up screen we used like this right sorry this so we are doing the same stuff but for here you can see we just use here the static data yes no and not sure here we are trying to use the dynamic data right so for that we have to create one more variable let's say multi lang list and here let's say multi lang dot for each function in the parameter we will pass as a value let's say multi lang underscore list dot push and here we have to use like id right so value dot id then after the let's say the label right so value dot name 
and here the item so here we will pass as an object value and that's it now let's say console dot log and we will try to print this multi lang list we restart the service and refresh the screen let me remove all the logs and once i click here you can see the id label and the item right in the item you can see there are all the fields available for that record set the res language okay now we are trying to just use this pop-up uh, we are trying to use this variable this list in the pop-up screen so for that await this dot show pop-up selection pop-up and here we are trying to use title and uh, here we can just use uh, let's say active languages and here sorry the list uh, let me remove this stuff and the value would be let's say the multi lang list that's it and now i will try to restart the service and refresh the screen okay and now you can see the active languages arabic english and the hindi right now the question is like what about let's say if i will choose the english so here it it would be only written that english record set right so for that we have to here let's say create a one more variable confirm payload and uh, selected option right and here let's say sorry not the print console.log and first we'll print out let's say confirmed and then after the selected option okay so here it will return the boolean data type true or false true means we like user selected the option and uh, if it is written as a false it means user didn't select the option and here selected option it will return null it means it, the user didn't select that specific uh, option and if it is written something right based on what we added here in this item it will return that value and now i'm going to front end side and refresh the screen okay oh sorry let me open again the console and here let's say let me also again remove all the logs and i will try to select this third option hindi now you can see here the confirmed is true and here you can see the targeted value we selected as a hindi right you can see here that record set we that object like the dictionary automatically return the array now let's do one more time let's select the arabic and you can see here the arabic is available right let me add one more time as english so now you can see here it's written as english right now uh, let me go to here and uh, let me disable this arabic language now you can see total how many languages is there two right and now once i will click here now you can see english and hindi is there once i click to here it will display only the hindi the selected ones and let's say if i will disable this hindi also and once i click here you can see the english is display right and here let's say 
if i am choose this cancel button you can see the confirm automatically written as a false and the selected option should be the null right and let's again i will try to active one more language the hindi right yes close and again i will click here you can see english and hindi both are available okay and once i click here you can see again it's written as a selected option only the hindi right so like this way you can render data from back end to the front end here in this pos right using the rpc call so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in the next session